This tutorial provides step-by-step -step instructions for the application of a thumb spica cast using 3M casting products. The thumb spica cast is a modification of the short arm cast that includes the thumb. Begin by gathering the supplies you'll need. Keep your supplies within easy reach during cast application. Remember to cover any clothing or surface that you want to protect from staining during the application. When finished, the cast will extend from the tip of the thumb and the distal palmar crease to two finger widths below where the arm bends at the elbow. This allows the patient to bend the fingers, hand, and elbow comfortably. Unless otherwise indicated, the wrist and hand should be placed in an anatomically neutral position, while the index finger and thumb should be in opposition, allowing for functional hand movements. Make sure the patient is in a safe and comfortable position, and ensure you're able to easily cast the arm and maintain proper body mechanics. Let's get started. First, cut the 3M Synthetic Cast Stockinette long enough to extend from the patient's fingertips to just above the elbow. Remember the stockinette becomes shorter as it widens in diameter. Roll the stockinette into a donut shape for easy application. Beginning at the fingertips, Unroll the stockinette over the extremity. Pinch the stockinette at the base of the thumb. Pull it away from the skin. And with the scissors against your fingertips, cut through the stockinette. This method assures the thumb hole is appropriately placed and the correct size. Next, cut a piece of short 1-inch stockinette. At one end of the stockinette, make a 2-inch longitudinal cut. Slide the stockinette over the thumb and ensure the tip of the thumb is visible. Using a piece of 3M microfoam tape, secure the 1 inch stockinette to protect the wrist. Fold the excess inch of stockinette back over the thumb to create a padded collar at the base of the thumb. This will protect the thumb after the cast is applied. Now it's time to apply the padding. Using 3M synthetic cast padding, begin the padding at the wrist working down to the distal palmar crease. Then wrap proximally, overlapping each preceding layer by 50%. Continue wrapping, stopping two finger widths below the forearm crease. Inspect the padding to ensure the extremity is adequately protected. If necessary, add padding to bony parts of the hand or arm. Fold the stockinette back over the padding at the distal palmar crease. Confirm that the patient's arm is in the proper position. Wrist should be neutral, while the index finger and thumb should be in opposition, allowing for functional hand movements. It's now casting time using 3M Scotch Cast Plus casting tape. Put on examination gloves to protect your skin from cast resin. The first half of the cast will be applied without dipping the roll in water. Follow the pattern of the padding. Roll around the wrist, over the palm. Wrap the thumb twice, cutting the casting tape as you go. Then wrap the palm working your way up the arm. At the proximal end of the cast, fold the stockinette back over the padding. Assure two finger widths below the forearm crease are present for proper cast placement and to not restrict patient movement. For the second layer of the cast, start by dipping the roll in water. Do not squeeze the roll if the maximum set time of 5 minutes is desired. For faster set time of 3 minutes, squeeze the roll 3 times. Then roll the casting tape over the first layer of casting taping. Starting near the elbow with 2 wraps, then wrapping down the arm, and once more around the thumb and palm. This technique results in a smooth, well-laminated cast. Rub the cast by keeping palms flat to avoid the creation of pressure points that can lead to soft tissue complications. Place the flats of your hands on the medial and lateral aspects of the forearm and apply gentle pressure to achieve a mold that blocks rotation of the forearm. Mold the palm of the cast by holding the patient's thumb between your thumb and forefinger and pressing the ball of your hand into the palm of the cast. With the opposite hand, Continue rubbing the cast until the material has set. The cast will set within 3 to 5 minutes and will be fully cured within 20 to 30 minutes.
Thank you for using 3M products.